All right, guys, we're making some vegetable lasagna. Of course, I got meat in mine. I, put, I always put meat in mine, but if you don't want the meat, leave it out. Uh, I got this thing on saute, y'all. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna grill, I'm going to brown a few onions. That's about a half cup, okay? All right. Now, I'm going to let those soften up just a little bit, and then I'm going to add this meat. I got about a pound pork and a pound of ground chuck, okay? And then we're going to layer it with some vegetables. Alright, I'll be right back as soon as we get this browned up. Okay guys, I sauteed my onions, softened them up, I added my my ground beef and my ground pork and I put some Italian seasoning in there. And then I'm going to add, this is the 32 ounce jar right here, I'm going to add about half of it, I need about 16. Okay, let's go. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hey, y'all check out my, y'all check out my, where my rag go? Y'all check out my new vid I got for Christmas. I got salt and pepper shaker. So I was going to play the good, bad, and ugly v uh, song, but they wouldn't let me. But anyway, check it out. So we're going to add some, so we're going to add some salt and pepper. All right. All right, here we go. All right, now, anyway, that's enough of that. All right, I'll be right back. We're gonna get this mixed up and we're gonna start laying it in there. All right, y'all, I'm layering this thing. I put a, a layer of my, these are no bake. Okay, I put a layer of these in the bottom. Then I put my meat sauce on top of that. And then I put a layer of my vegetables, okay? Now I'm gonna put another layer. I'm just gonna keep on layering this thing. To, and, and I got my ricotta cheese right here. And I got a half a cup of mozzarella and a half a cup of Parmesan and an egg and some Italian seasoning, okay? All right, it's just a mixed blend of Italian seasoning. That's all it is, but nothing special. All right, but I'm gonna keep putting more, more layers of this in here, okay? And then um, I'm gonna be back in a minute. There's my eggplant. See here, I'm gonna show you all what I'm doing. There's an egg in the plant. Uh, yeah, I got some uh, olive oil, olive oil, some butter flavor, it's good stuff. Put a little bit of that on top of them as you're cooking, okay? All right, and I'm going to put a layer of zucchini in here, too. Right, you get the point, you get the idea. All right, I'll be back in just a second. We're going to finish it up. All right, I got this thing uh, layered up. Y'all, my pan, they're going to leak a little bit, okay? That's normal because it, it, it lifts off, just like your spring pan, push pan. Mine's a pool pan. Anyway, we're going to finish this up. I'm going to lay these tomato. Boy, that... Can you get them? Yeah, the things are pretty in there. Anyway, all right, I gotta, I, I'm gonna put the rest of my mozzarella on there. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of my mozzarella on there. All right, it's about a half a cup. <laughs> Maybe a little over that, but that's all right. I like the cheese. All right, now we're gonna finish it off with the on, okay? Okay, we're gonna finish off a little bit right here. It's supposed to be a half a cup right there. So I'm assuming it is. Okay. Now, how's that looking, y'all? All right. I'm gonna put a little bit of this is that this is that olive oil with the butter in it. I'm just gonna put it off right there like that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat it again with salt and pepper. All right. Uh-oh. All right. Where'd my seasoning go? I'm going to put some a little more of that tag and seasoning on here, y'all. Finish that off. There we go right there. And now what I'm going to do, y'all, normally, normally I do 20 minutes and 15 natural pressure release, but that's when I use my, let's see, that's when I use this 3-inch pan. I do it 20 minutes. And I do this 2-inch one for 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I got a cup of, I got a cup and a half water in there, okay? And I need a lid. I need a lid. Oh, right here, right here. Okay, I'm going to do this for 25 minutes, okay? I got it on steam for 25 minutes. We're going to put this. Hey, what is it, baby? Huh? Somebody give her a cookie. That's my grandbaby in there. She's, uh, all right, I'll double these handles up there. It's okay. You see what little bit? It's okay. If it leaks a little bit, but what I'm going to do when I get through with it, it's going to be worth that little bit of leak. Okay? 
Anyway, 25 minutes, 15 apple pressure minutes. Okay, we'll be back. See you in a minute. All right, y'all, we're going to check this out after after 25 minutes and then I done a 15 minute natural pressure release. So it's ready to come right off. I'm going to set that there. I could prop it up. That's uh, that might be, we're going to do this. I think I got this. All right, I'm going to put paper towels. Y'all, this is going to leak a little bit, you know, it's gravity. It, it, the pan comes apart. It's got to. I'm gonna set this bad boy right here like this and see what she looks like. All right, what you think? All right, I'm gonna let that cool for just about 10 minutes so this thing slides off good. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do one more thing right quick. While it's cooling, I got some uh, some white cheddar. We're gonna put it on the top of it right there right quick. I gotta have a little bit of cheddar on mine too. So uh, we're gonna put that out. I like my I like my cheese a little bit toasted. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire this thing up for a minute. This is 14 gauge stainless steel, y'all. I can put a blowtorch in it. It ain't gonna hurt it. Alright. How's that looking at camera? Person? It looks good. Huh? Alright, we're gonna get there. I just wanna toast that, melt that just a little bit. Get a little bit toasty. I would put it in the oven, but I don't own one. Um I do have an air fryer. I'd rather do it like this. It's more fun to do. Starving for air. All right, we're gonna quit right there. All right, let's see. This thing's probably cooled off enough. I'm gonna put a little more Italian seasoning on top. Let's put a little more on top. We're gonna pretty it up just a little bit, like that right there. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try this. You ready? All right, here we go. Let me put my glasses on, y'all. All right, that's some guns are still hot. All right, here we go. Let me get my gloves on there, dear. I can't touch this hot. Here we go. Here we go. I guess I could have put my gloves on, but we're gonna try this anyway. Let's see what it looks like. I hope it cooled enough, y'all. Let me run this. Let me run this. Hang on, dear. Hang on, honey child. You have to do this sometime, y'all. That cheese gets kind. We're gonna get there though, trust me. We're gonna get there. All right, here we go one more time. Let's try this. Go easy, cause that cheese is hot. And if it falls all to pieces, y'all are never gonna see this. All right, what's that look like? Huh? Okay. I'll be right back in a minute. We're gonna slice it and eat it. All right, I'm gonna try to slice this thing. And we're gonna eat, and I'm about to starve. Y'all hungry? Huh? Let's see what it looks like. All right, there it is. The eggplant, zucchini, and some tomatoes. And I got some uh, ground beef, sausage, and all my spices. And I'm gonna post a recipe later. But I think I'm going to have to have a little bit of this over here. How about that? How about that right there, honey? And we're going to do this right here. That pretty. A piece of bread. Here's my salad. Let's eat. There you go. There you go. Right here. That's it. Four inch lasagna. Four inches thick. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Have a good evening.